would have been about five years ago I first came down into the tank. We had heard about it, there were sort of rumours about it. We went over this large manhole, donned gumboots, and, and climbed down these sort of scaffolding stairs into the tank, which was still at that point filled with half a metre of water. But there was nothing in what I'd heard about the tank up to that point that re-prepared me for what I found when I got down there. The, the scale of the space, the, the smell of the space, the echo, the sound, walking through water, seeing the patina on the wall. And since that time, we've seen the tank go through a whole cycle of experiences from that very still, quiet moment through massive construction and then coming back now as the building's about to open. And it actually looks pretty much like it looked at the beginning, which has been the goal of the project to you know, give back to Sydney this secret, mysterious space and make it a place for art. So we're standing here now in one of the two oil tanks that were built in 1942. When the Pacific War was ramping up, Singapore had just fallen. The American naval fleet was coming to Sydney. We've preserved one of them as part of the new building, as part of the Sydney Modern Project. The tanks themselves are, are remarkable. We've tried to keep this one as close to the condition it was in when we found it. This space still has the, the same patina on the walls. About 125 columns, seven metres high. A very particular sound experience. There's an echo of around 20 seconds. It would originally have held about over six million litres of oil. That's all been cleaned out. Minimal intervention. And our plan is to have major installations down here where we'll invite an artist to create something in this space unique to the space, therefore unique to Sydney. The architects of our new building are a company called Sana, based in Tokyo. So one of the many aspects of Sana's concept was the way that they incorporated this oil tank um, as part of their design. Originally they had thought of possibly putting a mezzanine over one part of this tank, but as soon as they got down here they realised it just had to be preserved intact as much as possible. The plan they came up with was to remove just one column to drop in a spiral staircase and the beauty of it, the purity of it, this steel, this white painted steel spiral staircase, three complete spirals weighing over 20 tons, craned in through this giant circular oculus. And the way I like to think about it, it's almost like in order of writing about Buddhism where the, the beauty of the lotus is the way that this radiant flower grows out of a muddy pond. And for this building, I like to think of their beautiful building rising out of this old oil tank through this extraordinary white spiral staircase. So just as Sana's thinking about the tank developed over the course of the project from their original concept to deciding that they should leave this tank absolutely um, as it was, we were also thinking how artists might react to it. So during that period, we brought a number of artists down here, dancers, musicians, visual artists, and experimented what would it be like for someone to dance in a space of 125 columns? A space that has no centre, it has no stage. What would it be like for a musician to play here with this very particular acoustic quality, this echo? And for a visual artist, how might they conceive using a very large space, 2,200 square metres, where would they put objects? How would they light the objects? So ever since we first came down into the tank, a good five years ago now, we've just been dreaming of the day where we could welcome the public into the space to share that amazing experience. Whether you come down the spiral staircase or whether you come down the lift, you will enter a space like nothing in any other art museum around the world. This one is unique to Sydney and will be a place where you encounter unique art installations by leading artists from Australia and around the world. And that is something that we can't wait to share with the public from December 2022.